Hey guys, welcome to Tiny House Customs. I'm Dan. Now my video for my window installation or the completion of my windows hasn't gone up on a YouTube yet. So I haven't been trolled yet and what are you gonna do about the screens? You're gonna be sleeping with more bugs than women. Thank you, thanks, I appreciate that. Great, wonderful. So I need some type of solution to solve the problem about bugs. And I really want to make some mahogany frames that hold a, a window screen and are a nice finishing touch, but I don't want to spend the money right now on that. And it's not on the, the priority list of things to do. So I'm going to make some temporary window screens. Uh, the big box store carries this stuff right here. It is basically a DIY window frame screen kit. It comes with everything you need. It's got corners, pull tabs, springs to hold the window or the uh, screen into the window and it also has spline to connect the screen into it and then you can also buy a roll of different types of mesh i think this is like a plasticky material i don't know what it is it's not the metal kind but my uh my landlord was doing some window screens on their porch and they had a bunch of leftover stuff so i'm going to use that up and make three frames for now just to test it out uh, I'm going to put just the three upstairs. I have one big window, the bathroom window, so I have cross ventilation through the house. And also I'm going to put one in the, uh, the other living room window because I use that one a lot. So I measured the rough openings for the frames. I minus about a sixteenth of an inch. I'm not sure. I'm going to make one and see if that's good and if it fits. Uh, these shims, I think that's good. Maybe I need to go a little more. I don't know. So the kits come with these little angle brackets right here. This dimension is, God, why isn't it perfectly three quarters? It's just a little under three quarters, so that is a number I need to know. Three quarters and three quarters and an inch and a half. So from all my lengths that I've got right here, I'm just gonna minus an inch and a half, I think, right? Yeah, I'll minus an inch and a half from all these numbers, and that's what length I cut these pieces at. So I'm gonna use the angle grinder to cut this stuff. It is aluminum. You probably could use like a chop saw, a circular saw, a jigsaw, a bunch of different things, but uh, you really want a fine tooth blade. Don't quote me on that though. Don't do stupid. Don't be stupid. Don't do stupid or be stupid. Instructions. Oh, you could use a hacksaw too. There is instructions. You can follow them if you want. I'm just going to go. You know me. 40 and a quarter minus an inch and a half. So I'm just going to mark that out and then take my speed square square that across. So I'm just going to flush these two up, cut them at the same time. Be efficient, right? 36 and 5 eighths. Something is biting me in the armpit and it hurts. So where this piece comes into it and you have this little plastic thing, you can install like that or like that. Nope, nope, you can't. You can't. You can't screw that up. You can't screw that up. Good. I'm glad you can't. Bam. That just goes like that. That's beautiful. So they got these little springs right here which help keep the, uh, the screen in if you just put it in there. And then these will compress. Now that's going to add a significant number to your length right there. So that's something I should have been more worried about. So I'm just going to slide those into the frames. Now it only comes with two. But my, uh, my landlord didn't use all of them because of their application. So, there's, I have extra. I have a whole bin of extra little parts. Can you hear right? Yeah, there was just something on me. I got it! Oh god, that's a bug. Ew. Oh god, that's disgusting. I cannot take it. So, since these things are going to add a lot to that dimension, almost a, an eighth inch, I'm going to take a quarter inch off the opposite pieces. So, I believe I put these on the side, I think. I can't, I didn't know what I did, but... Whichever they are, the opposites, I'm gonna take off a little bit. I'm just gonna take off another quarter inch. Hopefully this will work. And then we can assemble these, these frames. Makes sense. This should fit right in. No problem, right? No problem. Come on, no, 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 no problem. So you can't really screw this step up. Well, somebody will probably find a way. There's a lot of crayon eating motherfuckers out there, so best of luck to you. Cool. So there it is. I got one frame for one of the big windows. I probably should have filmed one of the smaller windows. So right now I could install the screen, but what I'm going to go do is test this in the opening. That's a genius idea. 
and then I'll put the, the mesh in. So I tested it out and it absolutely fit perfectly. It was really nice fit. These spring things really help in case you were, you can be within a quarter inch off almost because these things have so much play in them. So now I'm going to take these splines out. I think that's what they're called. They're called splines. Big words. Now they have these things right here, which are, I don't know what they're called. Basically, so you can pull the frame out. And since I need to pull this screen out to open my windows, I'm going to put these in. Now it only comes with two, but since my uh, landlord didn't use them, I'm going to put, put the extra ones in here as well. I'm going to put them in before I put the screen in. And then that one roll of screen I had is just enough to fit this, so that is a bonus. So I'm just going to lay this down flat over the top of the frame. So I don't want to pull the screen too tight because what will end up happening is it will bow the metal frame in. So I'm just going to kind of pull it taut. To make it easier for me, I'm just going to take a, just a little roofing nail, any type of nail will really work, but put it in on each corner and I'm going to pull it taut, 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 is that a word? Taut. So then you take the spline and you just put it back in there. Now that spline is going to take material and put it down into that hole, so it's going to make this tighter when you do it. They sell this thing right here, it's called a... Uh, spline installation tool. No, I don't know what it's called. If you go to Lowe's though, just explain to the guy what you're doing. He'll be like, oh, you mean one damn? And yes, you say yes. Yes, sir. And look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Whoa, oh, a little long. A little long. Gotta cut that one. I fucked up. Do over. Can we do over? Is do overs allowed? Yes, do overs are allowed. So that first one went in pretty easily. But when you're putting in the next ones, you want to pull it against that opposite side. I'm going to be doing the top and the bottom, and then the two sides. So I'm going to go parallel with each other. Now I already put those uh, the screen poles in, so those are going to be underneath the screen, and will be fastened in with these splines. So since I've done a couple, the best way to do this is just to go back and forth while pulling on the screen just slightly. You don't want to put a uh, bend in that metal. Clearly I screwed up somewhere. That's, that's not, oh yeah, I, oh I screwed up somewhere. Now in the corner when I was pushing in that spline, it ended up stretching it out, so they ran a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna take my utility knife and cut into that corner so it stops where it needs to stop. Make sure I cut it all the way to the corner because I don't want to tear the screen. Good. So there it is, a semi-decent screen. I kind of screwed up a little bit. I don't know what happened. I went a little too tight, but I think once I put it into the frame, it should hold itself. So you can see in this picture that it turned out pretty well. It's gonna work for my needs as of right now. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was possibly helpful. Maybe something good was from this video, who knows? You never know. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Sometimes it's happy, sometimes it's sad. But if you're new to my channel and you like these kind of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I put out videos twice a week right now. That's possibly going to change. It should change. It should go back to one video a week because I'm not producing like I should as of right now. And yeah, long story. But it's starting to rain, so I'm going to stop filming. I also have a second tiny house build that I'm doing which is um, available on my Patreon page. You guys have probably seen one or two episodes by this point right now. So that video series is probably, probably there's two or three more videos on Patreon of that build. Uh, those will eventually be released on YouTube, but as of right now, they're just on Patreon, as well as a bunch of videos that are just for my Patreon supporters. So they will never be released to, to YouTube. So if you want to check those out, please go check out my Patreon page. Link's down below. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Comment your great knowledge down below. And I will see you on the next video. Decent. I liked it. That was alright for me. I'll take that.